Hello and welcome to Versus Mode. I'm Robert Wilson. And I'm Felicity Allen. At Versus Mode, we pit two great things against each other to find out which is best. Today, Breaking Bad, an award-winning AMC drama about a chemistry teacher called Walter White who begins making crystal meth after being diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Versus Baking Bread, something you can do with flour, yeast and a little bit of elbow grease. So this should be an easy win for Breaking Bad. Bread can be surprising. Yeah, but not surprising is the twists and turns that accompany the imperial rise and fall of an ambitious drug lord. Well, it's true that bread only rises. You don't want it to fall, it means something's gone wrong. Breaking Bad has an engaging and complex central character to whom you feel a spectrum of conflicting emotions. Bread either turns out nice or not. It's a powerful drama that makes you laugh, cry and gasp with shock. Admittedly, bread is just bread. With a variety of interesting minor characters who have sympathetic and realistic motivations. Maybe with some raisins or spices or something. And it's educational, you learn about chemistry. Hmm, yeah. Science, right? Yeah, science. So we don't learn anything really. The chemistry is subjugated to the story. It's evoked when necessary to solve a problem, but it's really just a narrative device. Well, of course. It's a drama, not a textbook. Baking bread is all about the chemistry at your fingertips. Gluten proteins unfold, yeast makes it rise, different ingredients affect the bake. It's a real-life chemistry experiment with dozens of variables and delicious results. Here's another thing. Breaking Bad is undoubtedly a brilliant drama, but it always leaves you wanting more. That's a good thing. It's good television, yes, but a good loaf is not just brilliant at the time. You can eat it, be full, be completely satisfied, and you never have to worry about what happens next, because nothing happens next. If you get hungry, just make more. Infinite bread, infinite satisfaction, baking bread. Let's talk about effort. <sighs> no, let's talk about passivity. What? You're going to say that Breaking Bad takes no effort to watch, whereas baking is tiring, tedious and takes effort. Sounds about right. <laughs> but that's what makes baking so good and the finished product all the better. How does Walt look after he's finished a cook? Pretty happy, I mean, I suppose. <laughs> and that's what baking is like. You feel pride, fulfilment and contentedness. It's basically the difference between watching Walter White and becoming Walter White. Without the illegal drug making. What would you rather have as a present? A brand new box set of Breaking Bad and its shiny cellophane wrapper? Or some bread? Breaking Bad, right? Yeah, but we're talking about the concept of baking bread, not just one loaf of bread. You give a man a fish, you'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, you'll eat for life. Same for bread. Well, you can explain that on Christmas morning when you're doling out contents from your empty sack of no presents. And the same theme, sharing with friends. You can share Breaking Bad with friends. I mean, most people I know started watching on recommendations from friends. And you can discuss the story and morality endlessly. It's great fun. Not with your dear old grandmother. Well... I mean, you could. I probably wouldn't discuss that bit in episode one where Skylar starts wanking off Wall. How many people have forgotten that bit when they say, Breaking Bad's a great series, Granny, let's watch the first episode to get you started. That doesn't happen with bread. Unless you make a rude shape, but then that's your choice. Let's talk about online communities. Breaking Bad has inspired fan art, videos, there are discussion boards, reviews, analysis articles. And flame wars, people with objectionable views, creepy fan art. I mean, I'm guessing I've not actually checked. To be fair, it's the same in baking forums. Creepy fan art? Of bread? Yeah. No one wins on the internet. No one wins on the internet. Okay, do you need Breaking Bad? Yes. Would you die without it? Yes. You wouldn't. You wouldn't starve to death without bread either. Well, not personally, but historically I might have. Besides, many wars have been fought over wheat. That's not fair. If they had Breaking Bad to watch, they wouldn't have gone to war in the first place. No. Fine, but you get one point for all wars. What about dressing up? What? I said, what about dressing up? Breaking Bad provides a variety of interesting and recognisable costume ideas. Here's just some from around the internet. Conversely, here's all you can do with bread. There's this guy. Great effort though that is, Breaking Bad wins this one. Well, Breaking Bad wins this time, but we'll try again in 50 years and then we'll see. I'm not going to rise to that.
How do you know if it's ready? It's not the base. It should sound hollow. Listen. Can I try? I am the one who knocks.